Hey, it's Blake Scarlevi, and I've got a big update for you. This is a breaking change that Microsoft is making starting November 30th, and it's related to Power Automate flows, specifically flows that use an HTTP trigger. Uh, so Microsoft has announced uh, in August that any uh, flows with HTTP triggers or Teams webhook triggers that use logic.azure.com in the URL will move to a new URL. And the big thing is that by November uh, 30th or after November 30th, these old URLs will no longer work. So what that means is if you have any uh, code in your system, uh, whether it's a Canvas app or JavaScript, uh, maybe you have environment variables that reference uh, the, the old URL, you'll need to make sure you update all those references uh, by November 30th. Otherwise, according to Microsoft, those URLs will no longer work and therefore your uh, HTTP flows will not get triggered. Uh, so you can find this Microsoft Learn page. It's in a weird spot. It's under troubleshooting, um, troubleshooting flow run issues. And it's a pretty big article. So towards the end, there's a section called changes to HTTP or Teams webhook trigger flows. And that's where you can find this information. It talks uh, through the changes um, and there will be a warning banner. Uh, so when you go to your flows, uh, you should see a warning banner talking about this information as well. Uh, and then it provides a list of actions uh, to take. So the biggest thing is updating all your references. Uh, so for us, we typically make an environment variable that puts the URL in, and then we might have you know, like a JavaScript web resource, or if we're doing a Canvas app, it pulls in that environment variable to then call the flow using that URL. So for us, the main thing is just making sure we're updating those environment variables. Um, but if you're putting these URLs in other spots, uh, you just have to uh, be diligent about going to finding those references and then making sure it's using the new URL. And to get the new URL, you can just go to your flow. Um, they're starting to change already, um, but currently the old URLs still work. Like it's just Microsoft is saying after November 30th, they will no longer work. Um, so that's a big key. So we can walk through uh, a little bit on how to do this. So here I have a flow. It's using the new, uh, it's you know, HTTP trigger when an HTTP request is received. So here it's using a new URL. So you can see in here, there's no reference to logic.azure.com. So that means I'm on the new URL already with this flow. Uh, so typically what I would have is an environment variable that I store the flow URL. So if I open this up, this is the old URL here. So prod-10, and it's got the logic.azure.com. So these are the URLs you want to make sure that you find and change. So I just want to come in here and update the environment variable values to point to this uh, new URL here. Uh, and one thing we've done is created an OData query to help find environment variables. Uh, so this is querying environment variable values that contain logic.azure.com. And then it's also displaying uh, the name of that environment variable. So you can then go find it. Um, so I'll post this uh, query and the video description. Uh, and then this only helps for environment variables. So if you have your URLs, you know, hard coded somewhere, which is kind of bad practice. Uh, but if you do, uh, other ways you can do this uh, to to find those URLs is to export your solution. And then from there, if you use a tool like Visual Studio Code, you could open our folder and you can open your 
whole solution folder. And then from there, I can just do a search all for logic.azure.com. And here we can find my environment variable that I have this URL in. So then I know like, okay, that's what I got to change. But if you have other uh, references to this URL, like maybe uh, web resources or Canvas app, it should be able to search across that as well if you uh, exported your solution um, and open it in Visual Studio Code. You should be able to search through all those components and look for logic.azure.com. So there you go. hope that helps and uh, make sure you get those references fixed by November 30th. Thank you.